Next question is from A. Andrew Reed. Every time I bulk, I feel like I inevitably put on too much body fat, specifically around my midsection. No matter how slow or clean the bulk is, I always see midsection fat appear. What is the best way to combat this, or at least keep it to a minimum? Well, there, there's a couple things here. Um, the, the, the person's saying no matter how slow or clean. Yeah, I you got to read between the lines here. Yeah, right. So, uh, you know, if you did it just right, you shouldn't put on a lot of body fat at all. Um, but you also got to keep this in mind. In a bulk, you have a, a calorie surplus, which inevitably is going to increase naturally, probably sodium, probably carbohydrates, which is also going to increase your water retention. And a lot of times we notice that in the mm -hmm. stomach area more than anywhere else. So first you have to understand that that may be happening. But if you're actually taking your body fat test and you test it uh, before the bulk, and then you test it, say, six or 10 weeks or whatever later, and you increase dramatically in body fat, then you're not going as slow as you think you are. You're, you're adding way more calories than you need to. And I think that, and I know Sal will probably go this direction, is that uh, talking about how little of calories you need to actually bulk and build. And, there's, and I think this is uh, perpetuated by the, the bodybuilding community because that's just how they've done it forever. And we see them and they're like, the, like some of the best physiques out there. So we assume that they do it the best and they really don't. I mean, this was one of the things that I thought was really interesting when I got into competing is the way that competitors bulk and cut. They just go so extreme. And I, I think many of them don't realize how taxing that is on the body, how ridiculous that is with putting on that much body fat than trying to cut, the stress that you put on the body, the actual muscle that you end up building. It's not very it's not very manageable. You don't see a big difference when you put on 20, 30 pounds and then you decide to cut for a show and then you end up netting one pound of muscle. Like That's ridiculous. That doesn't even make sense. You'd be far better off going really slow. So if you're testing your body fat and it's definitely going up, then you, you're not going as slow as you think you are. But if you're going based off how you look and you feel like you're thicker, you're fuller, and you feel like you're putting on body fat on your, it also may be you're holding more water because you're increasing calories, sodium, and carbohydrates. Yeah, it, it, so when I hear this, um, no matter how slow I go, I gain body fat around my midsection, like what's going on? It sounds to me like you probably didn't track, okay? You probably didn't know how many calories you're eating before, and you didn't know what your macros were before, and you didn't know after when you started bulking. So what may be a slow bulk to you, you may be totally miscalculating because you're not actually tracking. So whenever people are like, I don't know what's happening. My body's just gaining body fat, or I don't know what's happening. I'm just losing weight, and I don't know what's happening. You don't know what's happening because you don't know what's happening. You got to track and really see what's happening and what you're eating and what you're consuming and how much it is taking for you to gain body fat and then go below that because however slow you think you're bulking, it's obviously too much. Here's the other part of it is if you're not sending a good muscle building signal, if your workout is not uh, effective for your body, then increasing calories will turn into body fat and not be turned uh, into muscle. You still got to have an effective workout. That's the other part of it because you know I've done this with other clients where we look at their workouts, they'll bump their calories a little bit, mm -hmm. they're not getting stronger, they're not building more muscle, and it's the workout. Your yeah. workout's not effective. You assimilate those calories. Yeah, let's change your workout, send the right signal. By the way, when you send the right signal, your body wants to build muscle. It literally wants to, and so increasing your calories a little bit, you'll notice more strength and more muscle and less body fat.